Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. We continue with second step. Okay, so previous uh, video, you have step one is write down your null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Okay, H null, H1. Now, step number two, you must choose test statistic. So, test statistic is a sample statistic calculate from the data obtained from the sampling. Probability sampling. Okay, you learn in chapter 1, you have non-probability sampling and probability sampling, isn't it? So, for chapter 3, we consider all the data is follow uh, probability sampling and follow normal distribution. That's why you can use this test statistic. So, test statistic, it depends on parameter in step 1. So, if you have mu, then you will use Z. Okay, if you have mu and your sample size is less than 30, you will use T. If you have population variance, one population variance, you will have chi-square. If you have two population variance, you will use F test. If you have proportion, one proportion or two proportion, you will use Z test. Okay, so again, the test statistic option is based on your step one, your parameter. Is it one population or two population? So generally, how we calculate or how we have the test statistic, statistic value minus hypothesized value divided by standard error. So standard error, in this case, example, sigma over square root n. Hypothesized value, you have it from your step one. Statistic value, it will be what? From your sample, from your data. So if you have mu at step number one, you will have x bar or s or s square or p. So this is the statistic value. Okay. So step number three is rejection region. So do you remember in previous uh, video, I have three figure like this, isn't it? Okay. We have like this. So if you have two tail, Hypothesis testing, your area will be left and right. So, if you look here, the one that I uh, make it like this, ni, okay, give some line here, that is the rejection region. Okay, that's mean we will look the value here and here later on, and then look the step number two value, is it in the black area region or not? So, this is called rejection region or critical region. So, this is for two tail. If you have right tail, it will be at the right side. So, this is the rejection region. And then, if you have left tail, it will be at the left side. Okay. So, the black area is rejection region. The white area is acceptance region. Okay. So, for sure, you can look up all the detail here. Right. But definition 3 and definition 4. How you know it's a rejection region or a septum region? Okay, you will look at this uh, figure. Okay, I'll show you later how to find the value here. So, this value actually you get from a statistical table. Okay, from the statistical table. And it will be depends on your alpha. So, alpha is also known as a significant level value. Okay, do you remember in chapter 2, you have 98% confidence interval. So, your alpha is 2%, isn't it? So, here in chapter 3, they will mention what is the error, what is the significant level value. Okay. And number 5 is critical value. So, critical value, which is step number uh, 3. Okay, step number three, similar lah. That's mean definition three, four, five is step number three. Okay, based on here, you will find the value here, isn't it? Uh, based on this figure, you will find the value here. So, this value called is a critical value and you got it or you get it from the statistical table. And the value depends on your test statistic. If you use Z test, here the value you will refer Z table. Okay. If you have a t-test at the step number two, step number three, you will use t-table. Okay. And then, is it a two-tail, right-tail or left-tail? Uh, you need to look as well. Okay. If you have, right, uh, you, you have two-tail, your alpha value should be divided by two. Okay. But if you have right-tail, just leave it like this. And here, this one will be like this. Okay. 
and what else yeah so it's a value of boundary lah okay you can see from the figure uh, just now okay i'll show you later with the uh, apa with a nice figure now definition 6 is decision rule so decision rules is step number 4 okay that's mean you want to see either you need to reject h now or not to reject h now so reject h now when what it depends on your step number 1 here Okay, step number one, actually you can look from this figure. If you have two tail, reject H now when, for example, test statistic value is at the dark side. Okay, for example, let's say here you get negative 1.96, here 1.96, but the value at the test statistic, let's say Z test, you get 2.4. Right, so if you look 2.4, is it at the dark side or at the bright side? 2.4 positive will be at right side and that is greater than 1.96. So, it will be here 2.4, isn't it? So, it's at the dark side. So, we will reject H now. Okay? Reject H now when what? It depends on your step number 1 and then look the value, statistical value and the uh, table value. Alright? So, I'll show you. This is the upper summary of it. Okay? So, you can see if you have two tail. Okay, two tail test, that means your H1 is equal, not equal. Your H1 is not equal, so you have two tail. And then, alpha should be divided by two. Let's say this is Z, okay, Z table. Your area here will be negative 1.96, here will be 1.96. So, look your step number two, your statistic value. Your test statistic value. So, if you have your test statistic value is it at the dark side or at the bright side if at the dark side you must reject h now so similar for right tail you will have right side area if you have left tail you will have left side area and alpha here should not divide by two and then this value how you get this value from the statistical table okay look your test statistic if you use t test here will be from t table if you use chi square test here you will use chi square table okay now this is the overall procedure in hypothesis testing basically you have five steps this is traditional approach okay so first you formulate your hypothesis testing you state the claim okay again how do you know it's come from your question okay look from the question and then transform into match notation. Is it at the H now or is it at the H1? Okay. So here is general term lah. Okay. We have focus four parameter. Mean which is mu. Sigma square. Sigma and pi which is proportion. And then step number two. Choose the appropriate test statistic. Again. This test statistic depends on step number one. What is the parameter you're concerned about? So in our class we only have these four test statistics. Okay, again, the formula is given in your statistical table. And then calculate the sample test statistic. Basically, from the formula test statistic, me, you will have uh, samples uh, information. Okay. And then step number three, you find the critical value. Okay, in other, in other words, actually, you have this one. Okay, you must know this one. Uh, so you can see that. First, you look what is your type distribution. Similar lah. That means you look parameter or you look step number two. If you use Z-test, so you will look Z-table. If you use chi-square test, you will use chi-square table. And then look alpha. Do I need to divide by two or not? Okay. And then uh, look, is it at the right side or is it at the left side? Or is it both area? Okay. And then step number four make decision okay either to reject or do not reject hash now again how to reject or do not it depends on your area here or depends on your hypothesis testing okay and then finally draw a conclusion so how to draw a conclusion let's say you reject hash now so you accept h1 lah. for example here let's say we reject h now and then we accept this one so at alpha equal to what we uh, but we have enough evidence to support H1. Okay, uh, for sure, I'll show you example later from my next video. So, I think uh, that's all at the moment. Okay, um, 
you can look your module okay and then i will continue with example uh, for the next video thank you class